New at four, the New England Patriots fan accused of throwing rocks at a tea car will stand trial. Police say the whole thing started as a fight after the Patriots beat the Steelers back in December. Rick Dayton has the story. Despite arguments from his defense attorney, the Commonwealth case against Sean Sullivan Fulham will go to trial. A lot of facts came out today that I believe once the case is uh, presented to a court in common pleas court, it will be a case that does not turn out to be what everybody is believing at this point. Sullivan Fulham faces seven charges, including propulsion of missiles and railroad destruction after police say he threw objects at a trolley car and smashed a window. It came after the Patriots fan was involved in a fight on the train hours after the Patriots beat the Steelers at Heinz Field in December. These women were on the train but were not hurt. No, but I did see the moment of impact. But like I said, beyond that, I'm not really going to say much of anything else. Lee was not called to testify at Fulham's preliminary hearing in city court, but Bethel Park Detective Dean Cristiano was. He was off duty that night and was on the train. He said Sullivan Fulham was obviously intoxicated when he taunted Steeler fans, yelled obscenities and vulgarities at them on the trolley, and ran down the aisle of a moving train. This video was taken shortly after Cristiano said Fulham lunged at him and spit in his face. The detective said he punched the man and held him on the floor for about a minute. Now, Fulham entered a plea of not guilty in court. Correct. And that is uh, the plea that we entered today. And again, at this time, because the case is still pending, I would refrain from talking about any of the substantive issues. After leaving the train, police say Sullivan Fulham threw something at it and smashed a window. Sullivan Fulham was arrested nearby. Port Authority realized its officers had three other run-ins with the man about an hour earlier at the Allegheny Rail Station near Heinz Field. He had been caught moving metal barricades and jumping the line. It is totally circumstantial evidence, but it, the question was, was that even enough evidence uh, circumstantially to prove that my client was involved or had anything to do with it? Next stop for Sullivan Fulham, a March 27th date in Common Pleas Court. Rick Dayton, KDKA TV News.